Hey, you're watching Culinary Cam, and today we're making queso blanco. Welcome to the Culinary Cam YouTube channel, and today I am celebrating yet another holiday with one of my favorite recipes. Today I'm going to share with you my recipe for queso blanco, but first I'm going to tell you a little bit why I'm making this. So I live in California, which has a huge Mexican population, and Cinco de Mayo every year, which is the 5th of May, everybody loves to celebrate Mexican heritage and cuisine, and we love to join in the party. So this is one of my favorite Mexican recipes. If you learn nothing else from this, I hope you learn two things. Number one, Cinco de Mayo is not a celebration of Mexican Independence Day. It is actually a commemoration of the victory of the Mexican army over the French at the Battle of Pueblo on May the 5th, but it is not Mexican Independence Day. And number two, what I hope you learn is if you use shredded cheese in a recipe, please grate your own. Use a box cutter, box grater, use a Cuisinart, whatever you want, but please don't buy pre-shredded cheese. It's not just cheese, it has stuff mixed around the shreds so that they don't melt as well. So, take the time to shred your cheese and Cinco de Mayo is not Mexican independence. Okay, let's get started. Queso Blanco recipes run the gamut from really complicated to really easy. Mine is somewhere in between, um, as I said, because I do shred my own cheese, but the ingredients are very few. So all you need is evaporated milk, one whole can. You need shredded cheese. I use between three and four cups, and when we get over to the stove, you'll see why I'm not giving you exact measurement. So again, shred your own, and you can use whatever kind of cheese you like. I, today, am using mozzarella and pepper jack. You need a little bit of flour for thickening, and that's it. And then to serve, you just have whatever your favorite tortilla chips are. So that's the basic queso blanco which also just means white cheese. So I guess if I used orange cheese, some kind of cheddar or Colby, I would just have to call it queso, not queso blanco. Okay, so the add-ins are really fun. I'm going to use some fresh garlic. I'm going to use this um, canned tomato, diced tomato, with a little bit of hatched chili peppers. So it's still mild, but I love the color that it adds. And then when it's all done and I'm ready to serve, I'm just gonna garnish with some fresh cilantro and uh, chopped green onions. Okay, let's go to the stove. It's sort of like making a savory ganache in the process. You heat up the liquid and then you mix in whatever you're trying to melt. So with a ganache, you heat up the cream, put in the chocolate, and whisk it till it's smooth. In this case, we're gonna heat up this evaporated milk, and then we're gonna stir in the cheese until it is nice and melted and gooey. So there's lots of different recipes that you'll find for a queso blanco that use a mixture of heavy cream and half and half, whole milk. I actually like evaporated milk because it has uh, less water content and so um, it just is a little bit smoother and then because I have people in my household who object to raw garlic I'm gonna put in the garlic now while it's warming and whisk in that flour so that is a quarter cup of flour so I have this over medium heat and what I want to do is I just want that to start steaming. If you tilt the pan a little bit as the milk hits the side of the pan, you can see if it's starting to steam and you can see that this is. So again, I have four cups of cheese in here. I'm just going to start probably with two cups. So I'm mixing in the pepper jack that I shredded and then some of the mozzarella. And then you can just whisk it or you can use a um, silicone spatula. And as that cheese starts to melt, you can add in your next batch. You can see it's getting nice and gooey. And you can sort of gauge if it is too thick, that's not how you like it, then use less cheese. If you like it nice and thick, then you just add more cheese. And I like it really gooey, so I'm gonna use it all. Okay, 
and that's kind of nice and gooey. And turn that heat off, and then we're gonna go back to the counter and put in our add-ins. Queso Blanco. Okay, so once your queso is ready, this is sort of a choose your own adventure deliciousness. What would you like in your queso blanco? Tomatoes? Okay, yes to tomatoes. Pickled jalapeno? Okay, and then the herbs. Oh, one thing I do love to put in, crumbled on the top cooked, which I don't have because we just did choripan and I used all of my chorizo, but crumbled chorizo on the top of the queso blanco, amazing. I'm just gonna put in so drain the water or, you know, don't get the liquid if you possibly can. I'm going to put in probably three teaspoons. Those are awfully strong. I think I'm going to leave those on the side. I'm going to add in some of the green onions. And then I'm just going to put this into my serving bowl. Wow, that was a lot more than I thought it was going to make. Yeah, you don't get this size bowl of queso at a Mexican restaurant, but we'll eat it all. Okay, your favorite kind of chips. We're gonna top that with some more green onions. Just gonna roughly chop up some of that cilantro. We're gonna do a few of these pickled jalapenos. I'm a wimp, I'm gonna really put them on the side. Queso Blanco, just like at your favorite Mexican restaurant to celebrate Cinco de Mayo. If you like this video, please click like and definitely hit that notification and subscription bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Okay.